Vladimir and Volodymyr were neighborhoods in the countryside. Vladimir's house was large, and only a fragile fence separated their residence. Around 6 a.m., Vladimir woke up, left his residence, and with his armor back in the weak fence, called neighborhood Volodymyr. Volodymyr woke up with the noise of neighboring Vladimir, left his house, and asked what was going on. Vladimir complained that the faint fence was moved and the limits between the two properties were changed. Volodymyr denied that practice such an act. Vladimir began to scream and his numerous children came out of the home and shouted with him. Faced with the shouting, Volodymyr's few sons also came out of the dwelling and positioned themselves beside their father. Soon after, Vladimir cursed Volodymyr. However, he remained impassive. Then, Vladimir fired a mud in Volodymyr, and he was undisturbed. Subsequently, Vladimir threatened Volodymyr from death and ran along with his numerous children into his home, taking a shotgun. Because he has no more firearms, he has made his numerous children sicklers. Volodymyr, in turn, feared from his life and his family, rushed his step, entering the dwelling with his few children, where he took a revolver and, in the absence of weaponry, he hand handed hammers to his few children. This is how the tragedy began between the two families.